This video will show how to create one-way and two-way data tables in Excel. And to demonstrate this, we're going to use a simple model shown here for calculating the annual payment on a loan. And it's got three inputs, amount borrowed, interest rate, and the loan duration, and then a single calculated output value, loan payment. So that's the model we'll be working with in creating the data tables. All right, so let's start by making a one-way data table, a data table with one variable, and we'll use interest rate. So I'm gonna create a table over here, and just, I'll make a label, interest rate. And then in this column, I'm going to put in several different values for the interest rate that I want to run through my model. So I'll just do 1%, 2%, 3%, all the way to 10%. Okay, now what we need to do, so these are the different values that when we run the data table, Excel will put into the, the input for this interest rate. And each time it does that, we want it to record the output value that we care about, which in this case is our output for annual payment. And to tell Excel where this is or which, which output, which number to track, we're going to reference that up here in this cell right next to our label for the inputs that we're going to use for interest rate. So if here equals our output value, enter. Okay, I'll set up now and select this table. Make sure and get uh, this first row and then all the rows with the, the different numbers. Click on the data tab, go to what if analysis and data table. And we're going to use the column input cell here since we have our inputs down this column. And we want these different numbers for interest rate to go into the interest rate input, which is here in cell B4. Click on that. Make sure B4 is what it says for column input cell. Click OK. And it creates our data table. Now after this, you can go and, and format it, make it make it a little nicer. So what I'll do is I'll use a dollar formatting, get rid of those decimals, and then I will put in also some conditional formatting. Okay, and then you can see how as interest rate varies from 1% to 10%, the annual payment varies from uh, just under 21,000 to a little over 26,000. Okay, so now let's do a two-way data table. And I'm going to use uh, interest rate again down the column, and then I'm gonna put the loan duration as the row across the top of the new data table. I'm gonna reuse our one through 10% interest rate values. So I'll just copy and paste over there, control C, control V. And I'll put a label here, interest rate. And then across the top, we'll put some different values for loan duration. Maybe we'll try uh, starting year three, year four, five, we'll go, three years out to eight years. And then I'll just label this is our loan duration. And then in our two-way data table here, we have the two inputs, the values will go in here. And then this top left corner is where we need to tell Excel which uh, calculation, which value to track each time. For a one-way data table, it was up here. For a two-way data table, it's on the corner here. So equals our output for annual payment, enter. And then just like before, select the entire table, making sure to get all of the columns and rows of the numbers that we want to put in. And then we'll go back to the data tab, what if analysis, data table. For the row, we're going to put the loan duration or the, the input cell for the loan duration, we wanna put the three, four, five, six, seven, eight years in here, B5. And then for the column, we'll use interest rate just like before, using B4. Okay, and it runs and I'll do that formatting again.
and we have the data table. So this was the one-way data table. And this one was the two-way data table. 